the aim of this experiment is to determine the mass of this ruler um, by doing a moments calculation and then we can check that using some scales um, later on. So I've got a box here with a nice square edge and a 60 gram mass which I'm going to put on here at the 10 centimetre mark. I'm going to now adjust this until the metre rule only just balances. So at this point you can see this end of the meter rule is lifting up, the meter rule is kind of sort of just balancing just on the point of toppling. And so in that position, the 60 gram mass is at 10 centimeters and the edge of the box is at 36.5 centimeters. The diagram shows the forces acting on the meter rule. There's a force of 0.06g due to the weight of the mass that we suspended from the brooder. There'll be a normal reaction, which because the um, meter rule is on the point of tipping, that will be um, acting right at the edge of the box. And there is the weight of the meter rule, which we would assume acts at its center at the 50 centimeter mark. We're gonna take moments about this point, so the reaction force will have a moment of zero. This force will have um, an anti-clockwise moment and this force will have a clockwise moment which will balance. So mg times 13.5 will equal 0.06g times 26.5. The g's will cancel out and so we have m equals 0.06 times 26.5 over 13.5, which will be equal to 0.118. That will be in kilograms, so that will correspond to a mass of 118 grams. I will now put the meter rule onto the scales and we can see how well we've done. It's showing 124 grams, which is a difference of six grams from our value, which is actually a very small amount indeed.